right there with Barbecue Superstars downtown Indiana at the Super Bowl. We're going to be shooting charter tailgating here all after all weekend. We're going to be doing a two-hour radio show this evening live on site at the charter tailgating. But we're in the center market square in Indianapolis, Indiana. We met this fine fellow here. What's your name? My name is Greg Gunthorpe. Wow, man. And now we've got some great shots of him uh, cooking a whole hog. And uh, Tell us a little bit about your operation. Um, we have a small farm up in northeast Indiana. Uh, we raise pigs, chickens, ducks, turkeys, all out on pasture. We have our own on-farm USDA inspected processing plant. Wow. <laughs> and so now you were talking about no antibiotics and no additives. And yeah, the, um, the animals are raised out on pasture, never any antibiotics, uh, never any chemicals of any kind. Um, processed right on the farm in our own USDA plant. Uh, our main customer base is upscale restaurants in Chicago, Indianapolis, and Detroit. Okay, well do you supply a restaurant called Chicago Q? No, no. Okay, I uh, just wanted to ask because uh, we actually know the owner's father or something like that, okay. but anyway. Okay. Well, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today. Um, we're doing a fundraiser for Second Helpings uh, and we're um, doing the pork. Uh, we're roasting uh, whole pigs uh, plus some shoulders and then we're also doing some smoked sausages uh, and some other people are doing the um, baked beans and the slaw and all the sides to go with it and going to be a great event. Whoa! Well, we might have to stop by here and eat just a few minutes. Uh, okay, well, lastly, uh, tell us about that place you were talking about that does all the prosciutto and all that. Oh, yeah. If you're in Indianapolis, you got to stop out at uh, Chris Ely's place, uh, um, Smoking Goose. It's just down the road from here. Uh, he has a small USDA um, inspected processing plant, does all kinds of charcuterie, sausages, dry cured hams, pancetta, everything imaginable. Wow. Really neat. Well, let me just ask you to do one thing, if you've got enough guts to do it. Uh, do you ever call the pigs? Ever call for the pigs? Oh, man, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, you know I mean, would you, would you do us a little pig call? Did everybody do that? Oh, well, I don't know if they do or not. See? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it right here, live in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Uh, I'm not making any predictions yet. No, I'm oh, not. Okay. No. No, my team's not there, so. Okay, well, everybody in the whole city saying the New York Giants. They probably will. Uh, because everybody hates New England because that was your number one competitor right, to exactly. get the Super Bowl. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. All right, there for Barbecue Superstars. Moving on. Yeah. All right. That's yeah, pretty cool. Okay, start over. You built this grill? I built this grill in 1998. Um, the local metal shop in LaGrange uh, actually rolled the stainless. They actually welded the ends in because they got a jig for a tank. And then I did all the rest of the welding. Tig welded it. Okay. All, all stainless steel. This thing's all stainless steel. All stainless steel, yeah. Where did um, you get such a big piece of stainless steel at? Um, Spruers and LaGrange, Indiana, and they got a machine to roll it. Oh, they, they have? They got a flat plate. They, yeah, stainless and rolled it. Okay. Um, and then it's all indirect heating. We put the charcoal out on. Oh, the charcoal's on the on side. side. So, it's like the PDQ. Yeah. So you uh, see the PDQ there? Uh -uh. So um, we don't uh, we don't catch it on fire then because we don't have to worry about any flare ups. Okay. You know, what, can, what kind of flavor have you got on your hog? I mean, have you got it injected or rubbed no, with anything? No. You uh, just put the uh, a pig that's raised the right way and processed the right way should taste like pork when it's done. Okay. I think. Okay. Um, we, we do a do rock pig, um, raise them outside, uh, never any antibiotics, never any chemicals of any kind, raised on pasture their whole life. Um, the, we process it on farm, our own USDA inspected processing plant. Uh, cook the thing for about 16 to 20 hours. Wow, man, I tell you what, it is beautiful. What are these, what are these cuts back here? Um, shoulders off a bigger pig. I was about to say, that's a big. That's yeah, a big that shoulder. 240 to 260 that's, pound that's pigs. <laughs> 240 to 260, folks. That's all. That's, huh? that's the normal size pig we do. What did that one weigh? Um, this one's about 140. 140 dress? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a baby. Dog. That's a baby. Yeah. Yeah. See, we don't cook them that big. We don't cook them that big? Not in competition. You're usually. Market Square, downtown center, Indiana.